Oh, we're certainly in early warning weather alert mode as the snow has started falling and it will continue on and off as we head through tonight, tomorrow and even into tomorrow evening. More on that in just a moment. Prior to the flakes flying today, this is interesting to point out that for Bridgeport, looking at the snowiest February's on record, if the month were to have ended yesterday, again, prior to today's snow at 25.8 inches, it would already be the fifth snowiest. So with the snow coming today and tomorrow and still basically a week or so left in the month of February after this round of snow, we could certainly see 2021 move up in the ranks. Meanwhile, yes, we're talking about a, a long duration storm. It is underway now and it will last all the way through tomorrow evening. During that time frame, it will not be snowing um, in its entirety of that, say, 36 hour window. We're talking about light to moderate snow at times. There's also going to be lulls. This is all of waves of low pressure pass offshore from southern New England. For much of Connecticut, for much of the time, it will be just snow given the southerly colder track that those areas of low pressure are taking. So you see the blues across the state now. The deeper shades throughout southern and coastal Connecticut indicate where some moderate snow currently is ongoing. Meanwhile, moving further north, a little uh, break in the action throughout northeast Connecticut, but light snow heading toward the quiet corner. Hartford points west, light snow all the way through Litchfield County. So where some of that moderate snow currently is happening throughout southern and southwest Connecticut, visibility down to a quarter mile, half mile. Uh, so as those waves of snow move through, roads become slick, the visibility drops, so plan extra time if you have to travel today, but perhaps wait a little while because there will be lulls. Temperatures across the state fairly uniform in the mid and upper 20s. Not much of a wind, say three to eight. It's fairly variable out there in direction, and that's creating wind chill values in the upper teens and low 20s really statewide. So there's our view from Torrington where the flakes are flying, reducing the visibility there. Similar scene with uh, the roads becoming coated there on the uh, side roads of the green in the Elm City of New Haven. Can't even make out the uh, the back edge of the green there. Our view from Waterbury also showing the reduction in visibility, but from Hartford, uh, the, the moderate snow is yet to, to make it into our capital city. So good visibility now, just some a few flakes flakes flying. You can see perhaps them moving through your view there. Uh, so we're on the northern extent of an area of low pressure that's passing offshore. That's why again, giving the track that we're talking about snow uh, with this round as we broaden the view as one moves off uh, the mid Atlantic coast. We've got another one behind it. In fact, that second low down through say Georgia and Texas. There's a uh, pardon me, Florida. There is a, um, a tornado watch in effect for Texas. We're still talking about cold and, and unfortunately more snow for them. So these series of lows pass offshore, keeping our weather pattern active. So here's future cash showing the snow with us over the next couple of hours. There's a lull, say five to around 10 o'clock tonight before more snow, 11 o'clock and through the overnight time frame begins to work across Connecticut. So snow tomorrow morning and then during the day tomorrow, it's going to become scattered and lighter, but still flakes flying for a duration of our Friday before it really begins to wind down and wrap up as the storm system exits uh, tomorrow night. Uh, so again, given the tracks and what we're seeing with our latest model runs, four to eight inches look most most likely throughout the southern half of the state, two to five inches throughout northern Connecticut. So on our seven day forecast, this unsettled snowy weather is done and over for the weekend. Saturday, partly sunny, windy temps, though cold, sub freezing 33, little less windy on Sunday, but bright sunshine Then another storm system. Monday afternoon, Monday evening could bring more rain and snow to the state than uh, dry and seasonably mild with temps back near 40 for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.